Hey, what's up guys? This is Blake from Mac Kiteboarding here and today we're going into how to jump. So whether this is your first time jumping or you have some experience with it but you just want to get a little better, we're going to go into five easy steps in how to jump properly so that you can land it every time and have a good safe time out there. Step number one is to send the kite with the bar sheeted out. If you have it pulled in, and then it's gonna scoop the kite in the power zone and pull you downwind. So in order to get the easiest pop without getting pulled off your edge, you just wanna send the kite with the bar sheeted out. All right, so step number two is to edge into the wind. So as you're sending your kite up to 12 o'clock, what you're gonna wanna do is edge into the wind against the kite rather than staying in the same line with the wind that you're going. Create some tension in the line so that it'll pick you up rather than pull you downwind. You're gonna wanna push down on your back foot and as well as that, you want to twist with your shoulders rather than just with your hips and the board. Pulling up on your front knee will create the board to pop. So you're gonna weight the back of your foot, twist into the wind and pull up on your front knee which will then create lift as you're going up. Step number three is to pull in on the bar. Right as your kite is reaching 12 o'clock and you're edging into the wind, that's when you're going to pull in on the bar and that will power up the kite and lift you up. Just recommend putting your hands in the middle of the bar, which creates less movement in the kite. Step number four is to sheet out and steer the kite in the direction you're going. Once you reach the peak of your jump and you're coming down, that's when you're going to sheet out on the bar. Sheeting out on the bar is like opening your parachute because what that does is it opens the canopy of the kite so that it'll catch you rather than drop you. Step number five is to point your board downwind and land with your body on top of the board. You don't want to be leaning back as you land because then all of your weight is not centered over the board and it'll be going over one edge. Think of like jumping on the ground and then landing on the sides of your feet. It's going to be a lot harder to catch yourself than if you were to jump up in the air and land back flat on your feet. If you just keep your knee to your chest as you're coming down, that'll allow you to control your center of gravity as you're coming down. And then you can just, right as you're about to land, just stomp down and get your shoulders over your knees, over the board. So that's how you land the trick. And remember, this all takes time. You are gonna fall, but if you follow these five steps, it'll make your life a lot easier. And believe me, I've fallen thousands of times learning how to jump and every one of us has who's been into kiting for a while. So don't feel bad if you're crashing. Make sure to go out there, have fun, maybe do five, ten jumps, take a break and ride around, try something else and then go back to jumping. One last tip I highly recommend is to make sure that in between your jumps and your crashes that you remember to breathe because it's really easy to forget to breathe and taking a lot of short, fast breaths. So in between your crashes, just think these steps through your head and what you're gonna do. Visualize yourself doing it before going out and that'll make your life a lot easier. So I hope this video helped you out. Let me know if it did and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more. In the meantime, have fun out there and we'll see you next time.